I'm gonna tell you the top three skills that you need to become a data analyst. What's going on everybody? My name is Alex Freeberg and I wanna help you become a data analyst. If that's something you're interested in, be sure to subscribe below. Let's get into it. All right, my number one choice of the skill that you absolutely need to have is SQL. I am sure by now, if you're watching this video, you know what SQL is, but as a data analyst, you use it for a lot of things. Personally, I use it for creating statements and queries to make sure that my data is clean. I use it for exporting to Excel for different types of reports or visualizations. I use it for a few more advanced things like automation, creating reports, sending emails, but just the basics of creating a query and running it and being able to ex export that or send that to somebody is really, really useful and something that you absolutely have to know how to do. All right, my number two is gonna be Python. Now Python is a programming language and is super useful for a data analyst. Most data analysts are gonna use it for two things, data visualization and automation. Personally, I use it for both. So I'm using Pandas, I'm using Seaborn, and a lot of other tools in order to get really good data visualizations. I'm also using it for automation. So I'm sending my files places, I'm renaming my files. I create an application that analyzes the file for me and gives me an output. There are a million ways that you can use Python to become even better at your job. So that is my number two. My number three option is gonna be Excel. And there's a very specific reason why I'm saying Excel is number three. It's because not everybody's a data analyst. So not everybody can go into SQL and get their own data. You have to be able to send them that data or they need to be able to send data to you. So if you're sending data to somebody, you can't just give them a script for SQL. You have to export that data into Excel. You have to be able to give that to them. And in Excel, you can format everything for them. You can make it look good. And then you can just send it to them and it can be really easily understood by them instead of having to explain it in SQL, which they may not understand or may never have used before. And often they're gonna send data to you in Excel as well, and then you can use that to import into SQL if that's what you wanna do. I think Excel is really just the way that other teams communicate that aren't data analysts or programmers or people who work in databases every day, because most people don't. And so there's business teams and, and sales people who don't know how to use SQL, and Excel is the perfect way to communicate with them and show them what data that you have available and what data that they can use. So there you have it. Those are my top three skills. I think those are more hard skills. There are a lot of soft skills that you really need to have as well. But those are the top three skills that I really think anybody can get started with and anybody can learn. And if you learn those, you will be on your way to having a great career as a data analyst. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this type of content and you wanna become a data analyst, be sure to subscribe below. Thanks for watching and goodbye.